Hi everybody, this is Caroline Sotheby and welcome to Up, Down, and Around Town. This is a little different segment and for some of you people, uh, we're going to put on some pictures. You might know this individual. And so, Amy, get an idea of who we're going to talk about. This was somebody that was very active, enjoyed life, and all of a sudden took his own life and left all these memories to share with people, friends, and family. So with that, we are going to go to the grandma or mama, whichever way, because you had both titles with mm -hmm. uh, and you're uh, Nancy Diem, right? Correct. Okay. Um, you had talked a little bit before we came on. It was um, sort of frightening for you, and it was an abrupt uh, death. It's not like somebody who's been sick for a while and the family gets to realize, you know, the days are limited in that. Um, is it painful for you to mention exactly what happened that day that you found out that he took his life? It still hurts. It's been five months, but um, it just, you still hurt. There's this hole that you feel um, because that person is gone. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, it's the emptiness, you know, because you, he was looking forward to um, Ravasi this uh -huh. fall, because he's in the he was in the a cappella choir and he loved that. Um, he was I had already paid for his trip to go to Amsterdam when they were going to do that next year, and you know, just different things that he was looking forward to, getting his driver's license and all that kind of stuff, and then to have that person just be gone is just really, really hard. Yeah, it would be. Um, <clears throat> that, was it a day or night when you actually found him? I found him in the morning. I had gotten up, I'd gone, because we all sleep with our doors closed, mm -hmm. and um, I had gotten up because um, uh, it was time for that I would normally go and get them up for school. And um, I went into his room. He wasn't there. I went downstairs thinking, well, maybe he went down to the kitchen and got something or was, you know, mm -hmm. getting something to eat, whatever. And he wasn't there. And I... Um, thought, well, maybe he went and left early for school because sometimes he, if the weather wasn't too bad, he would ride his bike to school, mm -hmm. even though I took his sister to school. Yeah. He'd still ride his bike, <laughs> you know. And I thought, why am I doing this, you know. But um, I went, went downstairs. I went out to the garage because Jasmine was still just getting up, you know, waking up and so forth. And... Um, went to the garage, he wasn't in the garage, and his bike was there. I called a couple of his friends thinking, you know, um, maybe they came over, got him, and they walked to school, mm -hmm. you know, which, you know, kids will do yeah. type of thing. And um, I thought, I hear his alarm on his phone going off, and I thought, where is he? You know, because I've been every place except for my basement. And um, when I went downstairs, I says, come on, it's time for you to get ready to go to school. And he didn't say anything. And then I looked, and then I just screamed, oh, my God, and tried to get him down. And um, that's when my other grandchild came down, and she saw him as well, you know, and she still is having some nightmares about that. 
Oh, yeah. You know, um, just not the thing you expect to find. Right. And he had, he had so many things he had planned, so you didn't right. expect it. Like, no. No. You know, when he was younger, he had some problems with cutting, you know, and we had him in for therapy and so forth. And um, we had just been into the doctors, and I had asked the doctor okay. about um, getting him some, some counseling because I thought he was being just more, I don't know, kind of nasty type of thing. So I'll hold it. <laughs> uh, so. Can we, Amy? The mic kill. I got it. You got it? Yeah, All right. I think okay. I got it. All right. So, so those were little indications that you were right. aware of. Right. Yeah. But, you know, he had been, you know, he was looking forward to the haunted house, you know, because October is like his month uh -huh. because his birthday is next week. And um, so he, you know, whenever the haunted house stuff came up, Grandma, I'm going to that. You know, he'd go do... He had gotten a job at McDonald's and was working there, and he'd say, well, I'll go there after I get done with acapella, you know, and I said, okay, just let me know where I got to pick you up, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, but other than that, you know, just some, what you would consider teenage outburst, there was no indication. Okay. So we did hear, like we had talked before, and mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of, incidents like that in the past year or two mm -hmm. and um, we were trying to figure out how we can maybe sort of help those people that also have lost individuals and at the same time you you had no indication you had a, maybe a little bit but Just of it the wasn't anger, yeah you know because he he was such a loving kid and he baked he liked to um, bake things and cook things and when his friends were in trouble it was oh grandma can he come here and stay for until later on tonight you know mm -hmm. and he would always try to try to help other people you know but he never let us know that he was hurting you know and okay. so that um, I think kind of I, I guess I should have taken that as a warning sign you know because you we had even talked when Robin Williams had committed suicide, you know, and um, he was such a happy person, and everybody wonders, well, why did he do that? You know, and that, I think, is one of the biggest things about suicide is there's so many questions. You know, why? Did I miss something? Did they miss something? You know, type of thing, and so that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. You know, and even with counseling and stuff that um, Jasmine and I have been going to, it it doesn't it helps, but the hurt's still there. Yeah. Now you mentioned that they said hurt is one of the or anger anger is one of the anger things that yeah oh yeah because when this happened the um, his group for acapella was going to states the next day. Wow. His sister's um, prom was the next day, you know. He left a little book with writings and stuff in it um, for different ones of his friends and so forth. And um, So he was planning it. He had to have been planning it. Yeah. You know, for some time, you know. So, and, and we just didn't see it. Okay. You know. Now, he did a lot of the haunted house thing. Mm. Did, how did you get to uh, meet him then or know him? It was, well, two years ago when uh, Danny and I were co-chairing the haunted house that year, uh, Caleb turned up with one of his friends, Connor, mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind of unexpectedly one day. And uh, we're always happy to see new people show up. Uh -huh. And um, he, uh, he was one of those kids that he just, he kind of made an impression immediately because he has such a bright personality. Um, and he was very kind and thoughtful, and I've said it numerous times that he's just he's kind of wise beyond his years. And uh, there was a few nights where uh, he didn't have a ride home, so he lives right down the street from me, so I would drive him home. And then uh, there was a night we uh, 
we, we happened upon that we had a mutual love for the, uh, the music from um, Les Mis, which, which <laughs> for me, that was something I was exposed to when I was in French class in, in high school. And I, I didn't know Caleb was in choir, but it was one of those moments where I had been listening to the song One Day More because we had one day left for the Haunted House season and I was exhausted. And uh, so it was on my radio and Caleb kind of looked at me, he's like, you know Les Mis? And, you know, I didn't think a teenager would really be into that. I was like, you know Les Mis? <laughs> and then we ended up singing the song as we, really? we drove, yeah. drove them home, yeah. So, so those were nice memories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, you have made a video and uh, uh, it was a little bit longer. We don't know if we have time for it, prob probably not. You probably have seen it, or mm -hmm. you might enjoy looking at it later on. Yeah, I've seen it. We used it at uh, Caleb's Memorial. Okay. So. Okay. But something special coming up this Friday, right? Yeah. So when this happened, um, you know, it's, it's like, I can't imagine what Nancy and Jasmine went through that day, but for, for a lot of us, um, I was up with my son that day getting him ready for school and we have a crew page for our haunted house team and some of the kids started making posts like someone somebody wrote rest in peace Caleb and I was like what that what is this and initially I thought like this is, is this some joke or this some it's like an internet prank and and so I immediately started asking questions and um, you know I didn't know at the time but they had made an announcement at the school and it was just this sort of cascading effect of of grief like that is if people are finding stuff out and we're making posts trying to put this together um, so that later that day there was there was a candlelight vigil at Pulaski Park and mm -hmm. a, a lot of the choir kids attended and a lot of the people from Haunted House attended and from that day there was just this general sense that like we have to make something good come from this yeah. so um, it was kind of a conversation over a number of months but we settled on um, starting a scholarship in Caleb's name. Um, and so this Friday at the Haunted House, we're gonna donate 50% of ticket sales from that night to start this scholarship, which is something we wanna make into an, an annual thing. Okay. So for a lot of people that might just be starting, Haunted House is still on Biddle Avenue. Oh yeah. Yep, Old City Hall, 3131 Biddle. I think it's been there what, six out of the last seven years now. Uh, we'll be open Friday, 7 p.m. to, to midnight, and um, you know we're we're kind of in the midst of uh, making an all-out blitz to um, to spread the word about it. That's what we're calling it, scare out suicide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the name there for the um, the scholarship, the Earth's greatest treasure, that actually comes from uh, part of the the, the JC's um, creed. There's a line in there about um, human personality being Earth's greatest treasure, and. Um, that line always, is, you know, since that day has reminded me of Caleb, so that's why we put that in there. And that will be awarded to um, a graduating um, Roosevelt senior. Okay, so the school already knows about it then too? Yeah, um, we actually um, made contact with um, Chris Hensley at the school board so that we could get it disseminated into the schools. Yeah, and uh, the DECA okay. program, as I understand, is helping us get the word out to the students. All right, so hopefully, there's a nice crowd over there, and uh, it does bring him back, but at least it suits it a little bit, right? Yes, it's very, when I was approached about it, I was just totally amazed, you know, and thought that was just the sweetest thing that they would remember him that way. Okay, so we get to the point where, <clears throat> um, for some people that might have a similar situation, like you did. Can you advise them anyway? I guess the thing that I would do is if you have a kid that's overly happy all the time, make sure you're checking on them. Check on their Facebook, check on their um, Instagram and Snapchat and all those other things and check with their friends too, you know, um, because nobody is happy 100% of the time you know, and that's the way Caleb was, you know. I mean, he would get mad and get angry, but, you know, 
And if they have ever said, I'm going to kill myself or I'm, I'm not worth it, I shouldn't be here or anything like that, get some help. Definitely go get some help for that child. Don't wait. Don't second guess yourself. Don't think it's just teenage attitude. Just take them. Get some help. Okay. Now you said you had gone to uh, a counselor, so mm -hmm. to speak. Uh, it eased a little bit, but not completely, because I think with every death, it takes time. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And when you have a suicide, it is something that is so gut-wrenching, you know, because that person is taken away from me. He was here yesterday and he's gone, and it was by their choice. Yeah. You know, that's hard to understand, you yeah. know. Um, it's just, you know, it just tears your heart out. It really does. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you see the remains. You have... They might have taken the shock treatment uh, and made it aware, but you see the actual dead body there. Yes. And then you have to deal with taking care of it, too. Yeah. So uh, you're sort of coming along, but it's only been five months. I yeah. mean, regular death takes a, 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 a trill in, in anybody because mm -hmm. it can take years before you really feel comfortable. You're there with a person and then now you're not and you have to oh, yeah. live your life without, without that them. person and yeah. I think one of the big biggest things that the counselor told us was what we need to do is find a new normal you know that's without Caleb you know and make new memories and new happy times and you know just work at getting through those you know, because like I said, his birthday is next week. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a hard one, you know. And yeah. then, you know, the holidays are coming, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. And we always did a lot of goofy things, like for those holidays and uh -huh. things like that. So all of that's going to be different. And so that's going to be another big adjustment, okay. you know. Well, you can still have your crazy times just Oh, yeah, every. yeah. And just be Jasmine and I. <laughs> What did you usually do for the holidays? Um, like for New Year's, we would get the funny hats and the the things you blow, mm -hmm. and the hats would go on the dogs, and the hats would be on us. And Caleb liked the um, uh, sparkling grape juice. Oh, really? I can't stand that stuff, but he <laughs> liked it. So we would get the wine glasses out and put the sparkling grape juice in that, and. Um, he'd get the grape juice and Jasmine and get her whatever drinks she wanted and Grandma gets her Baileys always. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we would do that and then we'd, you know, like do the countdown on the clock and, you know, be mm -hmm. dancing around and jumping around and having, you know, being silly and, hey, you know, just you having fun. Saying goodbye to the old year and yep. welcoming and the new. The new one, yeah. yeah. So. So with Christmas time, was Santa always around, or did you have? Um, yeah, up until the kids were probably about 12, you know. Yeah. But I, what we would do is I would get, a like, a present that we all opened together on Christmas Eve and stuff. And um, it would be, like, a set of pajamas, and we'd get some DVDs and stuff that we would watch on uh -huh. Christmas Eve and, and that kind of thing. So, and they would all be matching, you know. Oh, so we okay. had the, the bare ones and um, oh, just some corny ones, you know, just something to do for, you know, because my family is spread out. My brother is in um, Oklahoma. My sister lives in Hillsdale. So, you know. So it was your gathering. Your yeah, group. it was just me and, me and the kids, and sometimes their mom would be there. And, uh -huh. You know, but um, it just, however it worked. So what are you going to do for his birthday next week? Um, I don't know yet. Um, you going to have the I think friends I'm gonna, over? I think what I'm going to do is we're going to celebrate his birthday. We're going to get a little tiny cake or make a cupcake or something and happy birthday and wish him happy birthday in heaven. Yeah. You know. Say, keep 
place up for me when I'm ready. Yeah, right, <laughs> but don't make it too soon. <laughs> okay. No. So how are you guys going to have next week, too? Are you going to be busy still? Oh, yeah. The, uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, the next couple weekends are our biggest weekends, which is why we, we picked the date that we did. Um, it's, uh, it was strange during the build process because, you know, you're so busy just tr focused on trying to get it built. Um, but there was sort of a feeling like, you know, like, well, w when we actually start nights of operation, it's going to be strange not having him here because he, he was one of the most vibrant members of our, our cast. Um, but through the summer, there was, there was, um, a couple of times there was little reminders. Uh, one day we were, Megan and I were digging through some bags and, um, all of a sudden, we pulled out of the bag. It was Caleb's mask that he wore in the black light room, and yeah. uh, you know, you just kind of pause for a second, and then we uh, we took it up into the ticket booth and hung it up and set it aside um, so it didn't get lost in the shuffle. But we decided this year to do. Um, he, he worked the black light room um, for several years, so we uh, made that room up to as like a tribute to him this year. Okay. So what did he do in that room, though? Oh, he scared people. Yes. <laughs> That's what he did. One of his favorite things. <laughs> yeah, Caleb, Caleb uh, had a, an array of scare tactics, some of which included, as I'm sure Nancy knows, um, purring like a cat. Oh, really? Would, yeah. yeah. That was more so like things he, he did to the crew more than, more than guests. But uh, yeah, well, there was a video of him last year that got shared around on our, our page. And I think we actually used it as a bit of a promotion on the public uh, um, haunted house page. Uh, but it was uh, Caleb on top of some barrels, and uh, you, you see these girls walking in, and you can hear one of them say, no, 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 he's going to move, he's going to move. And then, you know, just at the right spot, Caleb began to jump and then leaped off, and they scream. And <laughs> I remember seeing it because I couldn't be there much last year, and it just made me laugh. Um, yeah. yeah, he was uh, working there, you know, you get... You kind of become like a, a like a big brother yeah. or mm -hmm. sister to the kids, and um, mm -hmm. but there are certain ones you, you get a little more closer to, or you kind of take them under your wing. And Caleb was one of those kids for me. Um, if I needed if I needed a kid, like if we were you know talking about doing a photo shoot or a promotional video shoot, and we needed some more people, Caleb was the first one I thought of. And um, we didn't get a chance to do it, but last year um, we had talked about putting this promo video together because Caleb did this face. I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about. He used to tell me, he, used to, he used to would say it was disgusting. <laughs> he did something with his fingers and his eyes, and I was like, that is a great face. We have to use that in the video. <laughs> did yeah. you ever go to the haunted house and see all this? Um, no, not when he was doing it because I'm, I'm not much of the haunted person type of thing. I don't like to be scared. <laughs> and, but he kept saying, Grandma, come on, I'll take you through, I'll take you through. Yeah. So we went through one day when there was, you know, before everything got started so he could show me the different oh, things. Okay. And I said, okay. But I said I would go through this Friday night, you know, for the um, fundraiser and stuff. So Okay. So I thank you for coming on. It, it, it's not easy to sit there and recollect what's happened, but at the same time, with you being there, you might be helping somebody else. I hope so. I hope yeah. we can help somebody. Yeah, and whether it's uh, looking at the child or, hey, it could be a spouse, it could mm -hmm. be anybody, because like you said, he was jubilant most of the time. Right. And it's not always, it's not, life because you we go through ups and downs a lot mm -hmm. and so at least you hey you gotta say you gave him attention and I'm sure he appreciates it and even though he sort of shocked you into that he yeah. loved you yeah yeah so with that if you can make it to the haunted house Friday 50% of the proceeds will go into a scholarship. And there it is, scare out mm -hmm. suicide. Yeah, and a big part of why we wanted to do this, obviously to honor Caleb and to bring some good from this tragedy, but it's also just to, to um, you know, there's a stigma about mental health right. and, and people don't want to talk about it because it feels awkward. But I think as, as individuals and as a community, we have to have the courage to confront it because I know when this happened, I said to the other members like in our leadership at the Haunted House, I'm like, we can't, we can't let this opportunity pass and have this ever happen again to one of our kids. Yeah. yeah. 
and that was the catalyst for this event on Friday. And they do have the out of the darkness suicide prevention awareness um, walks. We just did one on Sunday, okay. and yeah, um, and so they have that, and they have a lot of resources. I mean, I picked up a lot of pamphlets that help talk to you about grief and the loss and so forth. <coughs> Excuse me, and there's different. Um, you know, uh, places that you can go for grief counseling. Okay. And so it's very helpful. Are most of them local? Or do you have yes, no, there's local. There's one, um, it's run, I think it was by Oakwood, Oakland County or something, but it's on Rink Road right okay. here in Southgate. Um, there's advanced counseling too. That's the where we're going, where Jasmine and I are going. Okay. And that's right there in Taylor, I think it is. All I don't right. think it's Southgate. So, but there are lots of resources out there for people that are like, I am dealing with the loss, but there's also help for them if they have a child that's talking about suicide. Okay. Hey, thank you, hon. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks thank for you. coming on. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jill. No, no problem. And for all of you, like, uh, it's a little different today, uh, and maybe it might help somebody if it. Uh, if you know somebody else that needs help, go check. This is going to be on YouTube, yeah, too? Yeah, I'll get it up on YouTube. Okay, you'll get them on YouTube. So meanwhile, enjoy your week. We'll see you next time on Up, Down, and Around Town.